Hello everybody, this is Robert Hollis. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. And my title for today is One Degree. One Degree. Could be one Celsius. <laughs> so anyway, um, thank you very much for tuning into my videos. For those of you that would like more of my videos, you can go to roberthollis.com forward slash free. And I'll actually get you a free book of how is that working? Rat Race to Freedom. So, um, hello author, hello Bill, great to have you on here. Hi Eric, hi Craig. Hey Joshua, nice to see you. I get to see you in a little bit. Um, really, really cool. Um, we'll get started just in a little bit. Uh, Facebook, thank you very much for going out there and notifying all the people. I really appreciate that. Hey, hey Kai, how you doing? Uh, Jim Verney. Jim and Vernie. It sounds like I put both names together. I'm good for that. And um, I see that we're already Frankie, Matthew. Hello, my son. Love and appreciate you. And uh, let me go ahead and get done with this with this uh, video or start this video. So hello, buddy. My name is Robert Hollis. I thank you very much for jumping on there. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. And today's title is One. One Degree. One Degree. And one of the things I, I want to uh, dedicate this uh, training to Javi. Uh, he's an incredible guy and, and he's working so hard to make sure that he can do this full time. And I was just sharing with him a little bit about my personal story, um, you know, and learning how to do this. Now, what's unique is we all know that there's a number of, of um, degrees, right? So for some of you, you may or may not know this, but water boils, boils at 212 degrees, 212 degrees or, <coughs> excuse me, 100 Celsius, 100 Celsius. Excuse me a second. So here's what I want all of you to ask yourself. You don't have to respond. You can if you want to. If you, if you boil, try it with warming up water, had a flame underneath it, had a thermostat in it, and you got it to 210 degrees, 211 degrees, or 98 Celsius, 99 Celsius. Question for all of you out there, do you believe the water would start boiling? <laughs> The answer's no, no, it won't. <laughs> and so when I first got involved in this business, you know, me mentally, I'm an automotive engineer and an auto mechanic. I worked on cars. Let's make it really, really simple. And when you're dealing with anything mechanical, you cannot be one degree off. You can't be one degree off on the timing. You can't be one degree off on the angle of the valve. You can't be one degree off on the circumference going around, you know, with the cam, the lift. You cannot, you cannot be a degree off. If you're a degree off, you got problems, a lot of problems. <laughs> For those of you that are putting together and you're building a home or building anything and you're putting trim together. You know what I mean? So you got two flat ends, right? And so you want to put them together, but you want to cut that angle, that angle so they look like they fit together like a picture frame. You know what I mean? Like that, like a picture frame. If you're one degree off, you got a gap. <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't work. So when I got involved in this industry, you know, a lot of people, I don't know what it is. They, they love to be creative. They love to be uh, rebellious. They love to be, uh, I don't know what would be the word, but they're not going to follow directions if their life depended on it. And when you're trying to make enough income, and you're trying to follow a duplicatable system in a certain way, and you're a couple of degrees off on the first. So the first goal is connection. 
The first goal is connection. How do you connect with another human being? If you got to get them, people don't care what you know unless they know that you care. And so if you're off just a couple of degrees, just a couple, uh, well, I'm not going to say appreciate you and I'm not going to say we're expanding a company or I'm helping a company expand. I'm going to say that I'm starting a company. And, you know, with Hobby, I was saying, hey, listen, you know, here's the video that I'm using. Let me see the video that you are using. And he went, well, I, you know, I only changed it a little bit. And the reason I changed it is because a lot of people were asking for the name of the company and they were also asking for the products. So what I did is I just put me in there because they're going to be working with me. And so I'm just going to put a little bit before your presentation. And listen to this. People have an eight second attention span. Do you guys realize how much and how short eight seconds is? It's not very long. So if they go on to a video and the first thing they feel is you're giving them facts and pitching them on something. Done. Gone. Disconnected. And so if you notice my way of doing a peak, you know, getting uh, the connection is, hey, Craig. Hi, Craig. Hope this message finds you and yours blessed and safe during these uncertain times. Um, if you're watching the seconds, that might make them feel good. So now if I get them to feel good in the first eight seconds, I need to do it for the other eight seconds. Huh? Victory to victory to victory to victory. So then my next thing might be, um, I was thinking about you because I was watching a video today or watching a webinar today or watching a Zoom today. And I thought of instead of thinking about you, I would reach out and give you this message. Why, why was I thinking about them? Curiosity. Curiosity what? Kill the cat? So why, I wonder why he was thinking of me. And that was really nice. Instead of just thinking, he reached out and gave me a message. Are you guys hearing me? Because I just don't get why people struggle with this because they, oh, I just want to change a few words. I, I, I just, I just can't stop myself. Just, just, just a little, just a little. And then when you get no reply from the person, it's my fault. It's the network marketing industry's fault. It's uh, MVC's fault. It's everybody else's fault. So I remember when I was having difficulty with this at the very beginning, because at the beginning, there's another thing. So we're waiting for a reply. Yeah, I'm doing great. Thanks for the message. How are you and your family? If they don't reply, they're not the right person at the right time. You didn't do anything wrong. Numbers. Find the right people at the right time. So when they respond, you come back. And you say, that's awesome. My family's doing great. Thanks for asking. The reason I thought of you is I'm helping a company expand. And I was wondering if you could do me a huge personal favor. I'd really appreciate it. Here's Bobby 35 years ago. Ah, asking people to help me. I ain't doing that. That. Ah. No way. Why would I use the word appreciate you? You know, I, I, I'm not really helping a company expand. It's my business. It's my business. So I want to be the deal. So I, I, I'm going to, I'm just going to change it a little bit.
<laughs> and so that doesn't give you results. I'd appreciate it. If it's possible, I'd love to be able to send you a short video of my business partner. Super documented. And also a link so you can create a free account like you would with Amazon or YouTube or Zoom. Again, I'd really appreciate it. Wow, Jim, that is powerful. Yeah, I, I don't know. It is, there's something unique in our minds that we got to change it by one degree, change it one degree, change one, one degree. So going back to my personal story, I remember saying this to my, my mentor. You know what? Everyone that I'm talking to is asking me, they're asking me how long I've been involved. They ask me, how much money do I make? They ask me, what's the name of the company? They ask me, what, what, what is the products? They ask me, you know, what is, is this a pyramid? And Bill looked at me, my mentor, and goes, why? Why did they ask you those questions? Listen closely. I go, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why they asked me the questions. And he goes, they're asking you those questions because you're not following directions. You're changing it. And when you change it, that's how the questions come out. Nobody asked me those questions. And I went, really? And he goes, be honest with me. Tell me what you're saying. And I go, well, you know, I'm reaching out to people and saying, hey, listen, I just started this business and I'm really excited. I'm going to make a lot, a lot of money with this. And I was wondering if you'd be interested in making money as well. You know, people are looking to make money and I thought of you and, you know, would you be interested in taking a look at this? See, I just changed it a little bit. Can't hurt. No, they said, they heard, oh, you're starting your own company and your own business? Yeah. How long have you been doing it? How much money are you making? What are you marketing? What's the products? What's the name of the company? Because I use the word, I am starting a company. He goes, Robert, I bet you do that on everything. I, 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 I bet you do it on everything. I go, what do you mean? He goes, if you play golf, I said, I, unfortunately not. He goes, listen, just trust me on this. If you hit a golf ball, and you do it with a good swing and you get it one degree, one degree off. When it leaves that where you hit it, the you know, the putting, I mean, uh, the fairway or whatever. <laughs> See, you guys know I don't play golf. When you hit it, it looks like it's okay. But then when it travels five feet, 10 feet, 50 feet, 100 feet, it just keeps hooking. Or it keeps, what's the other one? I forget, there's, there's a hook and a slice, right? And we hear these words because they go in the trees. They go into another fairway on another hole. They go into the sand pit. They go into the water. Because you were one degree off when you started. Can you imagine an airplane? getting up in the air, taking you to your destination, and they're just one degree off. You wouldn't even get to the same country. <laughs> so, you know, you got the airplane that's on autopilot, and it's one degree, one degree, one degree, one degree. When it's on track, it, it, it can't see that it's off track. Are you guys catching me? But as soon as it gets off track, then it goes back. Then it goes back. Then it goes back. So some of you don't realize this, but you're one or two or more degrees off on the um, connection. And then you're one or two or three deg degrees off or more on the uh, peak of interest. 
and then you're one or two degrees off when you share the video. You, you, I, I don't, I don't know why I need to share the video exactly the way he does. So yeah, you got to change it. Got, got to change it. Got to change it. Got to change it. And when you're that far off, then you say this to me. Robert, the people that I connect with just will not create a free account. They, 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 they. Yeah. Of course they won't. The people that create a free account, they won't buy product. And when I say this next statement, some of you are going to get mad at me and I don't care. Because I talk about the law of attraction. The law of attraction. If you're one degree off and you're not going to get people to the destination that they want to go to, they want to make extra paychecks. They, they, they need extra income for their family. And if the way that you're doing things are not going to get them to the direction, I mean, to the destination that they choose to do, maybe God, maybe the universe is protecting them from you. Because they know if they get on an airplane with you, they're not going to get to the destination. <laughs> and then, so not only are you struggling, but the people that you do get to get in the business, they're following you. And so they take your one or two degree off and they change it one to two degrees off and they're not even in the ballpark. They're so, they're so far away from any results of this industry. It's mind boggling to me. So I grew up where you can't have anything off. I could freak all you guys out with technology, you know, with al alignment. You know what I mean? Tires tilted in, front and out. Toe in, toe out. Camber. Caster. You know, so it's the tilt of the axle that's going back and forth. That's caster. Tires, out or in. Camber. You're one degree off. And it wears out the tire. It's not sitting flat. So if I was aligning your car, and every time you let go of the steering wheel, it pulled you in to another lane, or worse yet, you had to muscle the steering wheel to keep it straight. And every couple, every month, it wears out a set of tires, and you gotta put new tires on. I think that you would be upset with me. I think you would be frustrated with me. I think that I wouldn't get your business anymore. <laughs> and some of you can't help yourself. I was talking to a dear friend of mine, Ron, and I was going like, <laughs> he's like, hey, hey, I, I, I think I was telling you guys about a guy yesterday. Very first thing that he said to me, do you know Dave? I said, no, I don't know Dave. Well, Dave so-and-so, and he's my upline. And he talked to me about a product that saved his wife's life. And so I decided to use the product and it helped me. And it also helped my wife's life, saved her life. And I was just going, why are you trying to sell me on the product? Well, because it's the best product on the planet. And I said, if it's the best product on the planet, does it have a money back guarantee? He goes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. And I said, if I bought it and got results from the plot product, I'm not a sales type. So I wouldn't share it with anybody. I would just buy the product. And he went, excuse me? I said, how many people on your team make a full-time income. I mean, five grand plus a month. I don't have anybody. I, I don't have anybody making that kind of money. And I said, yeah, because they're doing exactly what you're doing. <laughs>
<laughs> He's like, excuse me? I said, are you making a full-time income? He goes, no, no, I, I, I'm, I'm not making a full-time income. I go, because you're a salesperson. Who wants to be a salesperson? So every language that comes out of your mouth has to do with buy from me, buy from me, get in this company, get in this company, buy from me, get in this company. <laughs> oh my God. How many people are thinking this is going to be pretty good video? But people will listen to it and there'll be two groups of people. People will listen to me. And then there's another group of people that go, I'm not doing that. There's people, you should record yourself. Because there's people that actually believe that they're doing exactly what I'm doing. So yesterday I shared with you guys, you know, chapters, you know, uh, 4, 14, and 7 of the science of getting rich. And you know what my wife said as soon as I got off the video? And she said, you should have told them that you read 4 first. Then you read 14 second. And then you read 7 third. She says, you, you, you need to say that. And I was going like, if I told them to read chapters 4, 14, and 7, and then I stopped myself and I said, wow, honey, you're absolutely right. You're, you're absolutely right. You, you not only got to, you know, tell them the book, but you also got to tell them the sequence. And then what they'll do is they'll turn around and go, uh, you know, I got the book and I, I just thought I'd read the preference first. Just, just one or two degrees off. Just, just a couple of degrees off. And instead of going to 14, seven's next. Well, what, 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 what big deal would it hurt? I'll just read seven and then I'll read 14. Cause you know me, I like to do things different. I'm pretty rebellious. I, I, I don't want to mess up the numbers. I would ask you to watch this video over and over and over again and really truly ask yourself if you're doing things exactly the way I'm doing them, then why aren't you getting results? That's bizarre to me. That's really bizarre to me. Because when my mentor sort of verbally beat me up and said, do me a favor, Robert. I just, do me a favor. Every time you come up with a new idea, way to change things, be different, whatever you're doing, just take a cold shower. Just, just try it my way for six months. Don't change anything. Don't change nothing. Just do it my way. And then you get the overthinkers, right? It's like, well, what do you say to friends that are already friends? What do you say to followers? What do you say to, what, what, what do you say to people that are on LinkedIn? What do you say to people that are on TikTok? That's you overthinking and trying to figure out why you should change it. <laughs> so now listen to this last part, we're done. Listen to this last part. If I gave you the numbers to a safe, numbers to a safe, and it had a million dollars cash in it, and I said, four, 14, seven, and you did five, 12, nine, would the safe open up? No. You know, keys that you put in a car, keys that you put in a door for your home, they got notches on them. Why not just file one of them off? <laughs> You're trying to unlock the doors to your freedom. You're trying to unlock doors to a world that you can't imagine, that you deserve, that you're worthy of that you should be receiving and you got to change it. So I thought that would be a good video for today against Javi. Thank you so much for allowing me to use you as a, as an example. I know you're going to get this. I'm so proud of you. 
And for those of you that know that people <laughs> that are not doing it the same, I will throw one more statement in there. What I'm doing a year ago is different than what I'm doing today. Is that mind boggling? It should be. It should be mind boggling because I keep getting better and better. I keep mastering and I'm with a company that does a lot of stuff that other companies don't. Javi brought up to me, you know, well, I watched your Ray Higdon video on how to do an effective presentation. Effective, price of, effective presentation is either it works or it doesn't. Uh, Terry and I, Craig, don't need to do the disclaimer. Terry and I have made $3.9 million in the past four and a half years by using Josh Wagle's presentation. Today, I shared his travel presentation. If you guys watched Josh's travel presentation today, here's my thoughts. And if your thoughts are different, I don't know how to help you. I watched Josh do that presentation and I'm just like, oh my God, if I get thousands and thousands and thousands of people to watch this presentation, they're getting in the company. I've made millions of dollars. Listen, you guys, I've made millions of dollars by just marketing travel. I've made millions of dollars marketing air and water filters. I've made millions of dollars selling long distance, pagers, cell phone services. I've made millions of dollars by selling exotic fruit drinks. I've made millions of dollars selling coffee. I've made millions of dollars in selling CBD. I make millions of dollars at everything that I market because I follow the sequence. If the company doesn't have an effective presentation, then yes, I need to create it. But if the company just grew by 11,000 people in my group alone in the last 90 days from Josh Wagle doing the presentation, <laughs> success leaves clues. So there's gonna be two groups of people. Tomorrow, Josh is doing an opportunity presentation for MDC. You guys will see that I'll be going to the back office, copying that link and sharing it with the world. And then it's recorded. And I promise you, listen to me, there will not be a person on the planet that put Josh's video in front of more people faster than me. That's it. That's it. So I love and appreciate you. I believe in you. Sometimes I'm, I, I, I'm getting this passionate because I want this more for you than you want it for you. The only thing I want for you is what I have for Terry and I. What I want for myself in the future is what I want for you and your family. I get paid by your success. Please, I'm not interested in showing you things that don't work. So stop changing it, please, please, please. Stop changing it. So I love and appreciate you. Please do me a huge personal favor. Share this with everyone. If they would change their life and get down and, and do it correctly, then the water is going to boil. And when the water is boiling, then you get, get some pretty awesome things happening in your life. You know what I mean? So I love and appreciate you. If no one's giving you uh, uh, permission to succeed in life, let me be the first. My mentors did that for me. So love you and see you on the next video. Bye for now.